Hello, I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 2, where um, we're kind of in a very large war. Um, like all of these guys, plus us. Um, well, all of those guys against us and a lot of other people. Um, it was declared on us. It was a holy war for England. Which is uh, not going well for those waging said war. Um, yeah, they just they can't commit enough troops quick enough, basically, um, to defeat our and our allies' large sum of troops. It's basically just like a long kind of haul here now. We can't do a ton. Honestly, I can probably just let our allies deal with a lot of this, but I don't really want to. So we won't. Um, our vassals probably aren't happy about their levies being raised this long but all of our vassals really like us right now so I'm not really concerned about it I do wish we had some boats but uh, I don't think we have we don't have very many boats um, let's go ahead and send that Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Okay, great. We have fulfilled our ambition to get married, um, which means we need a new ambition. Um, son. We will have a son. Hopefully. We will have a son. And I will slowly murder all of my enemies. We're kind of slowly dragging this war score up. It's taking a while, but I kind of expected it to take a while. Um, there's not a, a really a lot we can we can do about it. Short of, like, trying to put some guys in some boats and going and sieging some capitals or whatever. Um, I think mostly just kind of hoping um, any of our allies that are over here can just kind of do that themselves. Granted, I don't actually think any of them can do that themselves. <laughs> Just, there's so many troops just popping up everywhere. It's kind of ridiculous. I wonder if this is a historic event or whether this is just like a random trigger. I'm, I'm not familiar enough with like this point in history to know for sure. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not positive. I heard a pop-up, and I missed it. Nope, here we go. Pop-up. Accept. Accept. Unpause. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no. Our chancellor died means we need a new chancellor. This guy. Fabricate a claim. Kent. You know what your job is. Get to it. Where are you, where are you going? You're going there? 
No, oh my god. This is just, it's, it's a slow, painful process. You. We gotta, we gotta kill somebody here. Really tempted to split this army in half. So I'm going to. Um, we're going to select this unit. They're going to go down here. We're going to select this unit and they're going to go here. <laughs> We're at seventy percent. Seems pretty good. See, these wins are not dragging up our score very much, unfortunately. Well, there's another two thousand down here. That might help a little bit. Let's grab these guys and bring them down this way. Here come our Irish allies, 9,000 or whatever. Well, there's 5,000. Victory. Let's just walk over them. I mean, that's a lot of troops, but I don't think it's enough. Especially since these 9,000 are coming here. Um, you don't, I don't, I think that's going to go over well. It's absolutely not going to go over well for them. We have a new Pope. I didn't read his name because it doesn't matter. A victory. And then we're going to go here. Get rid of another like 2,800. We're at eighty percent. Seems pretty good. Eighty two percent. We have so far to go. It's it's just, uh, it's just a slow, slow, drug out kind of fight here, isn't it? Not a lot of help from the Germans. I don't know why I said that like that. Must be a lot of allied troops in this stack, because I didn't think we had quite this many available to us. In fact, I'm positive we didn't have that many available. Just select these guys and send them there. Then these guys can go here something like that we are winning very very handedly surprisingly enough we need a hundred percent though to enforce demands which is you know I don't I don't want to do anything other than enforce demands so unfortunately 
Um, sure. Um, uh, eh, let's trust her word. Okay. Well, I mean, the war is going well. It's just taking a long time because we can't really, we can't really do anything here other than just like slowly pick off these troops as they become in a position where we can attack them. We're at 89 percent, which is not bad. Oh, now we're at 92 percent. So we're slowly but surely dragging, you know, these uh, war score numbers up. Just taking a little bit longer than I think anybody would uh, really, really care to have happen, basically. Um, I mean, it's only been 11 minutes into this episode, roughly. It's not that long. It's just a little tedious, is all. Ninety-six percent. We're we're almost there. We couldn't have just like we couldn't have been like leading the army with their leader. That would have been nice. Ninety-seven percent. Ninety-seven. Ever so sl What? Where did we lose at? Here? How did we lose there? Weird. Oh, we've had a son. Excellent. Uh, we need a new ambition. Um, let's amass some wealth. Okay, well, things are moving along nicely. Oh, here we go. We're at 100% somehow. Offer peace. Enforce demands. What do we get for enforcing demands here? Some piety. Yeah, sure. Excellent. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, we'll move our troops back to our territory here, and then we will lower our levies. And hopefully, things will... Calm down for a bit. Oh, we gotta unpause. Um, 
Hopefully we can make something um, happen out of our newfound relation with Alban. Maybe somehow something can happen and we can... Our wife died. Um, so let's ask her, okay, um, stop pecking plot, uh, no, okay, well, we're just gonna have to ignore that for the moment, um, yeah, our, our wife is dead, um, you don't have another daughter, do you? You don't. How about, um, you? Three. One. It's a little, it's a little young. Um. Germany. Germany. Um. We kind of already have an alliance with Germany, don't we? It's probably not. I don't really want another alliance with Germany. Um, we could, how about, how about York? Um, arrange marriage ourselves. You, nope. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's unpause. So let's. Not worried too much about things right here at the moment. Um, everybody seems to like me. We can create... Well, we probably... We don't have enough... Oh, we don't have enough money. Um, we are unmarried. I don't really know what would be a good... A good fit here. Um... Like, Lombardy is probably a good choice, but I don't want to be drug into any wars with Byzantium if it can be avoided. Um, other than that, like, maybe Middle Francia? I don't think you have any eligible children. Um, yeah, you're just all, like, courtiers. How about you? Do you have any eligible... Nope, you're, you're, you're just another... And you only have one son. Okay, that's fine. I guess, let's just... Keep on chugging along here. Um, I don't think we have any claims anywhere. Unfortunately. Um, we could claim Surrey. We have a du jour claim on Surrey. We have a du jour claim on Kent. So we have a claim on both, a du jour claim on both Surrey and Kent. Oh, we've got some dangerous factions, huh? 7%, you're probably not really, you're probably not really worth my effort, are you? How do people feel about you? Um, meh. Can't really do anything about that at the moment. Why? What are what are your reasons for said faction? 
elective succession I don't really I don't really think so um mm, mm. let's cancel this plot how about we just um send you a gift that'll increase a little bit and maybe you'll just stop you only have one percent of a threat ratio weak claim um uh, i think I think that's a no. Alright, well, we are at the end of the episode. If you liked the video, click like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time for some more CK2. Thanks for watching.